So it's with a heavy heart that I'm going to read off the uh, decision in Conti versus DSNY. It's official. And it's up on the board. You could read it down below. I'm going to read it into the record. We lost. We lost. The oligarchs won. So um, it was posted December 29th, 2018. Appellate Division, First Department. Again, the links are down below. Decision on March 29, 2018. The judges Freeman, J.P., Tom Kapnick, and Sang, J.J. In Conti, Mark Conti, Petitioner Appellant, verse City of New York, Department of Sanitation, DSNY, Respondent, Respondent. Conti Pro Se, Zachary Carter, Corporate Counsel, New York. Blah, blah, blah. Respondents. Right. So it's one page, folks. They, they want, it's one goddamn page. Right. Order and Judgment, one paper. Supreme Court, New York County, Barbara Jaffe. Enter June 21st, 2017. Enter Allah. Denying the petition and dismissing the proceeding brought to annul the determination of respondents New York State Division of Human Rights finding of no probable cause to believe that respondent City of New York Department of Sanitation had engaged in unlawful discrimination employment practice, practice complainant of unanimously affirmed without cost. So that's the decision right there. All the judges unanimously affirm the decision of the lower court. As far as they're concerned, it's over. But maybe they talked about the quota. Maybe they, maybe there's something more to it, right? New York State Division of Human Rights finding of no probable cause was rationally based and was not arbitrary and capricious. And then they cite some law that... It's actually their own law from the first department. Petitioner, a, a probationary employee, was terminated upon a unanimous vote by DSNY's Employee Review Board after receiving four unsatisfactory quarterly performances, performance reviews and nine written warnings. Petitioner failed to produce evidence. <laughs> that the pro-offered reason, reason for his termination was false or pretextual, pretextual, and that discrimination and or retaliation was the reason. And they cite another law that they created. DHR, Division of Human Rights, was, has broad discretion. They love this. They love, they love using this. Has broad discretion in determining the method to be employed in investigating a claim. And his determination will be will not be overturned unless the record demonstrates that its investigation was abbreviated or one sided. They quote another law, right? That they decided on again, first department, right? So they <laughs> no such showing has been made here as petitioner was given a full and fair opportunity to pre present his claim via written submission. We have, we have considered petitioner's remaining arguments and find them unavailing. This constitutes the decision in order of the Supreme Court Appellate Division First Department entered March 29th, 2018, signed Deputy Clerk. That's it. I, that's it. How should I feel right now? I don't know. <laughs> but that's, I mean... Not a word of not a word about about the quota. Not not a single peep. It was less than it's less than probably like three hundred words, right? Of all the proceedings and all of the the process, all the due process that went on, still not a mention. They they win again, right? The oligarch wins again, right? That retaliation for for blowing the whistle on the quota, nothing. So the city protects the city. I don't know much more to say, man. I, I mean, 
I don't know. That's that's it. What's your what do you think? You know, I mean, I did, I did what I had I had to do. I'll you know I'll talk a little more about it, but but uh, you know, it's, it's a bad day. You know, it's a bad day in America. It's a bad day for the country. You know, when this kind of it's just it's such insane corruption where you can't even all that work and you can't even get your voice heard. You can't even get a peep in. Nothing. Zero. Peace out.